to this video i'm gonna be showing you how i use oliveira to make my oil it contains something called proteolytic enzymes which repairs dead skin cells on the scalp it also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny it promotes hair growth it prevents itching on the scalp and also reduces danger dandruff and conditions your hair olivera can be used for so many things so this is just one way that i use my olivera for a hair care you can use it for skin care for your face care so right now i'm about to cut my olivera up into pieces like first of all like you can see like the side has some like very sharp edges so you gotta be really careful before you cut you up so you have to cut that um edges off so i was trying to like the white side of the olivera i try to cut that off because that part i'm not going to be using it and i'm going to cut my olivera up into pieces so that's the first piece that's the second piece and that's the third piece and the fourth piece and the fifth piece so like the very last end i'm not gonna be using that one because like i tend to get like the ones that have really good gel like that one you feel like you can see the gel in it and i then cut like the edges that is really sharp because that part is not needed so that's what i was trying to do trying to get the edges off and that's it that's what i'm trying to do right now getting all of those sharp edges out of the way because i don't need that to be in the olivera treatment so so this is how our olivera gel looks like and i'm gonna separate the one that i'm gonna keep for later use and the rest i'm gonna use that to make my oil so these are the ones that i'm gonna put into the refrigerator and keep it to use as a conditioner for my hair later or my daughter's hair and the rest that is left i'm gonna use so what i'm doing right now i am cutting my olivera into right now i'm trying to take the um, labor off the olivera so that's what i'm doing right now and i'm cutting it in i'm gonna cut it into pieces which i'm gonna use to um, make my oil so now i'm just cutting it into little small pieces so this is a y'all this is very simple and easy to make it's not really hard to cut it's very like like very soft it's very easy to cut so that's what i'm doing right now i'm trying to cut it into like very little pieces this is what i'm gonna use to put into my next ingredient so this is the pot that i'm gonna be using to make my hair treatment so right now it's very like I'm, i just add a little heat to it to dry off the water that is in the pot because you don't want any water in the pot so you just need very little heat to make this hair treatment so right now it's just heating up and i'm waiting a little bit to add my coconut oil into it so this is the coconut oil that i use to make my hair treatment this is organic coconut oil it has very different uses you don't you can use it to cook you can use it for your skin so this is one way that i use my coconut oil to make my hair treatment my pad is now ready for me to pour in my coconut oil so i'm getting like few spoons of coconut oil into my warm pot is really so like any amount you like to use it's up to you but for me i just i'm just using like three spoons of coconut oil and as you can see it's melting like the pot like it's not really hot it's just a little warm and you don't need too much heat to make this so i'm just trying to stir my coconut oil into my pot and i'm adding just trying to stir it up so after stirring i add um my black jamaican castor oil into my coconut oil 
because these are the two things that I use. So I just add a little bit of black Jamaican castor oil into my coconut oil. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mix them up and let it heat a little bit. Then I'm going to add my olive vera into the pot. But like one thing I have to tell you, you know, like olive vera is very like liquid form. So you don't want the heat too much on the pot. Like you don't want it to be too, the pot to be too hot because it can like pop out and it can burn you. So like my tip is just add little heat to your pot. You don't need too much heat. Then once you put your olive vera into the pot, if you want, you can add more heat to it. So this is just a tip that I want to tell you guys about. So I'm just letting it to heat up a little bit more so that I can add my... So I just added my um, olive vera into my coconut oil and my castor oil. So what I'm doing now, I'm just trying to mix it up, stir it up so that all the ingredients can mix together to make a very good oil because I want the olive vera to be in the coconut oil so I have to keep stirring it so that it can all mix and i lower the heat too so that it can really cook well into my coconut oil because i do want the benefit of the olive vera so that's why i have to keep stirring it mixing it up so that it can all mix really good so this is what I'm doing now and I'm just waiting and looking at so it. Let it stay there for a few minutes and then I will just let it to cool off. So as you can see, I am still staring it and it's also changing color and this is how it works. Like you have it has to change color from green to that color that you see right now. So like I said, I would just keep staring it and trying to mix all everything up so that I can get the benefit of the olive vera into my coconut oil and my castor oil. So this is what I'm doing, making sure everything is well mixed up together. This is the final look and now I'm just going to let it sit and cool off. I'm going to turn the heat off and let it sit and cool off and I can filter it. So this is the cup that I'm going to be putting my olive vera oil treatment into and this is the final stage of everything and I will be filtering my oil, getting rid of any excess stuff from the olive vera or stem or seeds or whatever. So this is what I'm doing right now and I'm going to be um squeezing using spoon to squeeze out my oil getting all of the stuff out of the olive vera because i i don't want to waste my stuff you know so i'm just trying to squeeze it out to get out of the oil out of it and the olive vera itself so this is the final stage almost the final stage and you will be seeing the final oil how it looks and I'm sure you can make this. Try it. This is really good for hair. I've been using this for a very long time now. I use it on my daughter's hair. I use it on my hair. And it keeps our hair growing really long and soft. So I really will recommend this product. This is how it looks. This is enjoy using this as a hair moisturizers. So thanks for watching. And I will be back with more videos. Thank you. Bye.